Hello everybody, Under here, and in this video we're going to be updating the tier list, the Civ tier list that I did uh, in November last year, which is 8 months ago, that's crazy. A lot has changed since then, from Firaxis and in the Better Balance game mod, we've had the April patch, we've got new leaders, the experience change, which I can't remember if it was in the game when I did the last video, but for anyone that doesn't know, they decided to adjust experience game the game so that everyone gains standard speed experience which is a nerf to multiplayer is a lot more difficult to war now because obviously you get promotions and the heal from promotions a lot slower than you did previously and yeah we've had some better balanced game updates as well so the meta has completely shifted as always, this is going to be multiplayer focused. If you are a single player player, please do bear that in mind. When I'm talking about civs, you might think this guy's crazy, put in uh, X in strong and Y in weak or whatever. But this is for multiplayer civilization with the better balanced game mod. If you're unsure of that, it's going to be in the description below where you can have a look at the um, all the changes that they've added. It makes some of the weaker civs playable and some of the very strong civs slightly weaker. And this is where we left the tier list last time. Uh, I have removed Semi-God, I think I called it, uh, tier. Because the biggest criticisms that I got in the last video was that the tables completely skew with. There's like there's way too many sieves that aren't average. And um, there's, there's like hardly any that are below average and too many that are above average. So to, to try and do that, I've completely removed one of the... Um, one of the tiers to try and make it even above and below the the average tier. Obviously, we've still got an extra one here, but I think we do need that god tier uh, section there. So that is going to stay, and I'm going to try and keep it like this. And the aim of this video is to obviously update you guys with where I think the sieves belong now. But I'm going to try and get a lot more sieves into the into the uh, average section. So yeah, enough babbering on. Let's uh, let's get on with it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly go through the sieves one by one and pre briefly talk about them, maybe not even talk about them at all if they're just going to stay where they are. I'm going to try not to talk about each each of the sieves too long. I don't want this to be sort of a complete tier list again. I just want it to be a quick update that people can have a look at. So let's start with situational. All these three guys can stay where, the, where they are. They, they've had, uh, Aztec and Australia have had a couple of buffs. But it, nothing to, really to do with appeal. They're still very spawn based with uh, Australia with appeal and Aztec with how many continents they've got access to in, in the start of the game. So these guys can stay here. Um, Catherine is was the first in the God tier list. I'm not sure why she was down there. I think this is the first Civ that we're going to see move down. And it's because she's just not going to see much play anymore. Whether it's because of the experience changes that I nerfed. Uh, sorry, that I mentioned earlier, or people are just getting better at war, and the, and the sim meta is as strong as ever at the moment. But the plus three is still very good. She's still got some very good timing pushes with spies and whatnot. So she is going to move down to the strong tier. Next up, we've got Norway. Very good, very, very, very good save all round. Good monumentality, good multiple choices of religion it can go, feed the world, choral music. Easy to make good harbour triangles with holy sites. Still belongs in the god tier in my opinion. I think it's a very, very good sieve. Ethiopian X, still a very good sieve. Good monumentality. Good sieve bonus. Probably not as good as the other god tier sieves like Roman and um, um, Norway. So we're going to move that down to strong as well. Russia's up next. Exactly the same really. It's, um, it's, it's very good monumentality. It's got a nice holy site. Unique uh, replacement. It has been nerfed recently with the Great People Generation. Uh, it's still a strong sieve though. Uh, I think they do really well. Uh, even when they don't get Tundra, to be honest, I feel like I feel like the sieve does fine even in uh, in standard in a standard region. Because instead of going something like Dance of the Aurora, you just go some other strong um, faith generation like Sacred Path, for example. Rome. That's staying where it is. Still a god tier sieve. A mon free monument is amazing. It's been changed multiple times where you unlock it, but wherever it is, it's always good. 
So that's going to stay in the gods here. Victoria probably can move down to strong. Is a very good sieve, very good on the ocean. Cheaper harbours, good late game with the industrialization bonus. Uh, sorry, production towards workshops and that sort of thing. It's not a god tier sieve though. I think it's got a lot of counterplay for it. And um, yeah, but still a strong sieve. Babylon's up next. Surprised I put this in the god tier uh, sieve, sorry, section previously. Because this one's getting moved all the way down to average. In teamers, is is very strong, obviously, because of how boosting works. If someone on your team finishes attack, you get a free, you get the free Eureka, which is insanely powerful for Babylon. So it's always banned there. But in terms of free for all, standard game, very average. Kind of needs to be on the coast as well to get a lot of those Eurekas. So argument to put it in situational, but now nah, it's, uh, I think it belongs in the average section. So yeah, we're making progress by putting more in the average section already, which I'm enjoying. Persia's up next. <clears throat> no reason to move this, no changes. Good internals, which is always nice. A lot of people are starting to shift towards the internals at the start of the game now as well. So it's probably a little bit, bit better than it was, but that's only because of the meta. Dido can stay where it is. No real changes there. Cree. Now, with the experience nerf, the scout rush is completely dead, but it's still a very good internal save, especially if you get a lot of, sorry, internal trading save, especially if you've got a lot of pastures and that in your camp for your unique, uh, unique um, sieve bonus. But for the sake of trying to get more towards the median, we are going to move that down to above average. I wouldn't say it's a strong sieve anyway. Zulu, really fun sieve. I love this sieve. Is it strong still? Yeah, I think so. The, the half price district is nice. It pretty much means you're not going to die in the early game. You're going to get a general, so people don't really want to attack you. You've got that formidable mid game count. Uh, sorry, mid game timing push with mercenaries. You're going to have the gold because you go in Pembroke and Voice. So yeah, I think this stays in the strong section. Canada got a massive nerf to its food in Tundra. So we're going all the way down to below average of this sieve, I think. Still got some very good mid-game potential with uh, hockey rinks and culture victory, but I think that nerf was insane <coughs> to Canada, the food nerf that Farax has added to the game. What have we got next? Uh, Nubia. Still a very underrated sieve, in my opinion. Um, there, was a, there was a sort of short golden age to use um, a civ sort of term where people go and holy site Nubia with uh, adjacent Nubian pyramids for a really good monumentality timing for free settlers and builders. I personally wasn't a fan of that, but it was strong and it did get nerfed by, I think they removed Faith from the Nubian pyramid. <coughs> Pardon me, I've got a cough. You'll have to bear with me with that if I do cough. Anyway, I think it's still an above average civ. It's got really good sim potential. Moving on to Gaul, the sieve has gone, gone through quite a few nerfs for, to its mine bonuses, to unlocking apprenticeship when you finish the unique district and the culture on mines. Is it still an above average sieve? I think so, yeah. The engineer generation early, engineer point generation early is really nice. The, the production is nice. You are sort of vulnerable to an early push, which I found out recently, which kind of sucks because obviously you can't upgrade warriors into swordsmen but yeah pretty all-round good sieve in my opinion moving on to byzantium one of the newer sieves this sieve gets perma banned all the time recently the the amount of stacking bonuses you can get mixed with the ignoring walls with cavalry units is is very very strong it's got an insane mid-game timing push i think it's gods here it's probably on the same level as, as Norway and Rome, so we are going to put it there. Moving on to Germany, we're going to leave him as he is, above average, needs needs time to sort of do his own thing early on in the game, so he's going to stay there. Gandhi's going to move up to strong tier, this is still a very good sieve, it did get a bit of a nerf, but the, the monumentality on this guy is insane, and the multiple 
religion benefits is also very nice to have. Mongolia's up next. This did get a slight buff to Kashvas, but I don't know. Again, war sieves, they're just not great at the moment, and I think it can just it can stay above average because the the spy stacking sorry the dip diplo visibility stacking is, is extremely powerful on this sieve you can get some bonkers stuff like plus 20 and beyond with this guy um if you if you time everything right so he is going to stay there japan stay where he is too uh, this is a good really good simming sieve later the game goes on the better but on on the um counter argument it's like germany it needs time to get there mapuche this is just a troll sieve that i really don't like is it above average no we're going to move that down to average i think just just to try again try and get more sieves in there mali's up next this is still a very good sieve i've had some terrible luck with it recently though by without sport by not spawning in desert but this is a tier list video as a whole, not just for me, so it is going to stay in above average. Pericles is going to stay where he is. China is staying where he is. Korea, yeah, he can stay where he is. Ottomans, again, it's it's kind of like Mongolia. It's got that very good timing push, but it's not as strong. Also, you need mana arms now to get to Janissaries, which is a little bit of a diversion, so it does delay the timing a little bit. Does that make it an average sieve? Yes, I think so, because five or six turns is just crucial. But the Janissary push is very formidable. Up next, we've got Georgia. I've not seen a lot of this sieve lately, and I'm not really sure why. Um, and for that reason, uh, we're also going to put her in, 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 in average. She's got really good monumentality. She's got very good early game with a unique unit and with the walls but she struggles later on in the game moving on we've done Kree Macedon Macedon's bugged at the moment and for some reason it's not getting fixed where what happens is the 20% production bonus he gets when he when he takes a city is currently bugged and it sometimes triggers when someone else takes a takes a city in the game which obviously is crazy because you could have the bonus for like most of the game if it's an aggressive lobby ignoring that i think it's still an average sieve requires a bit too much of constant war to keep things going which isn't really a good thing because of amenities and the experience like we've know uh, like we've uh, discussed chandragupta same reason it's going to stay there it's like the sort of war version of gandhi the extra movement is nice, but again, war isn't great. Egypt has had a slight indirect buff with El Emel Emela El 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 the the Marsh Wonder. You guys know what I'm talking about. But obviously, if you don't get that, it's uh, not not going to be amazing. So she is going to stay there. Gorgo. Gorgo's had some very nice buffs in the Fraxis patch, plus one. Combat strength for every military slotted policy card. Key word for there is slotted. So that means anything you've got in wild card slots, for example, counts too. This was making fascism pushes unstoppable. Uh, it has been nerfed to just the, the red cards. Um, but we are going to move that up to strong. It is slightly better than Pericles for that reason. The, the, the sort of fascism time and pushes with things like Alhambra are, are very nice <clears throat> Sweden not really seen this sieve get much play lately um, so she can just stay where she is Maori same reason people ban it because they just don't want him to turn up next to them Brazil is up next this has had a slight buff the street carnival now doesn't look as the entertainment complex unique replacement doesn't require a district slot anymore so this makes the coliseum timing very good is it enough to move it up i don't think so there's i love this sieve though there's so many possibilities you can do this with this sieve around its bonus you can do monumentality you can do science and and gold with commercials and campuses obviously and you can do theater squares it's it's a nice sieve but 
It is it is average. Scotland, very good Simmonsiv does could argue to put it in situational, very amenity based like Aztec. It's probably one of the better simmers. Is it average? No, I think we're going to move that to above average. Grand Columbia has not really changed much. I still think that's a very average sieve. Same with Rough Rider. They, they did slightly buff the the Rough Riders, but I don't. I think it's so late in the game that um, it doesn't really need to be moved away from average. Scythia can stay where it is. Samaria can stay where it is. Indo stay where it is. Poland can stay where it is. Khmer has had some buffs. Um, I love this sieve and I seem to do really well with it. I would personally put it in strong just based on my own experience, but I think it is an a, a above average sieve. It's got some insane growth po uh, possibilities with the with River Goddess stacking with the Khmer River bonus. Monumentality is obviously good with it, but like with most holy site sieves, it, it struggles later on in the game. Maya's next. Uh, that got some insane buffs. Free builder in every city was crazy. Um, it did. It was a was a sort of strong slash god tier sieve with that bonus, but BBG has removed that now, um, and I think it can just stay where it is. Really, argument. To, yeah, I think it's situational. It it requires heavily on plantations. You can make the farms. Um, you can make the observatories work with farms, but. I don't think it's really enough. Inca can stay where it is. Spain has had some buffs to its trade routes. I think we're moving that up to above average. I don't really want to move it up though because um, obviously I did want to keep uh, more sieves in in this sort of region. Um, and, it, and to be honest, I think it's a strong sieve at the moment. It, it can spawn inland now. They've given it a continent bias along with a geothermal bias, which is really nice. Um, obviously, Conquistadors is still insane, but they do suffer from the same problem as... Um, who was it? Uh, Ottomans with needing mana arms. But all the other bonuses added up make this better than the Ottomans, in my opinion. Will Helmina can stay where she is, and we've discussed slashed moved most of these congo has received some buffs to a free relic when you finish a government building so that's going to move up to average arabia's received standard adjacency to holy sites and campuses making it a strong sieve in my opinion and we've got catherine magnificent can stay where she is hungry we can move to average um I really, I still really don't like the units, but this sim, sim's uh, ability is is very strong, in my opinion. We've got French Eleanor now. Um, she's really good at what she does. I'm not sure why she's not played so, uh, more, to be honest. She's got the free culture victory. Sorry, the possibility for the for the culture victory, and she's also got the guard imperial, which are a very very strong unit. English Eleanor, I don't know why there's two, but below average. The bonuses, they just don't work very well together, in, in, in my opinion. Vietnam, new sieve. I think this is pretty average. The, the Void Chan are, are very good, but apart from that, the, there's not much going on for them, I don't think. The same, really, with these two guys, the, uh, the Kublai Mongolia and the Kublai China. These, these sort of alternate leaders they don't work well in my opinion the only one that really does work well is is probably bull moose um but the others i'm, I'm just not a really a huge fan of they're just they're missing something and the, and the bonuses just don't work well together kublai mongolia is probably a little bit better than china though and last but not least we've got portugal now i'm probably gonna get a lot of stick for this one because people really really do think this sieve is is very very good but i'm gonna stick it as average because it's got no cheap harbors the unique unit the caravel it doesn't have any sort of combat strength bonus over its counterparts and that that for, to me is what makes it an average sieve they're, they're very sort of vulnerable to the other 
sieves on the ocean like Victoria or, or Norway, for example, Dido, uh, anyone really, Indonesia, they're, they're just multiple stages of vulnerability and the only thing they can really do is, is buy stuff with gold. So I think they're an average sieve. Um, I'm just looking really if I can if I can move any of these sieves down into the average section. But it, we have got most of the sieves now in, in average, which I'm happy about. I do really agree with the criticism that I got in, in the previous video about needing most of the sieves in average. Some that could probably move down, I guess, are Pericles. Well, actually, yeah, we'll move Pericles down and... And uh, yeah, I think I'm happy with that. I think that's um, <coughs> a good tier list. Excuse the cough. And like always, please make sure to comment with your thoughts. Even if you completely disagree with anything, tell me why. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube. Follow my Twitch. I stream a lot at the moment. And I'm trying to stream a little bit less to try and do more of these videos. Uh, I know I keep saying that I'm going to make more guides and I really do want to make more guides, but I just, I kind of struggle with um, speaking to no one, I guess. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Cheers for watching. Give us a like if you like it. Give us a dislike if you don't. Leave your comments and I shall see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.